I'm too shy to slide into your DM, so just make things easy for me and slide into mine, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Wait, it's all dudes. <laughs> Beggars cannot be choosers. If you do not specify, you do not get to, you do not get to choose what you get. And that is the essence of asking for attention online. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo, and today we're gonna be looking at R slash mad lads. For those people who you said they won't do that, and then they did. Let's just get right into it. Story in four tweets, ending in literally someone sending me a massive box of chocolates. Thank you all, I have the most compassionate and kind Twitter followers in the world. For the 100th time, well, Muslims don't eat bacon, it's not our kryptonite. If you really want to offend us, send us boxes of milk chocolate. That'll really show us. Rashid for Congress. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Replying, bacon. <laughs> This man just completely jabated the hate train to get free chocolate. That's godly. That is a godly play. <laughs> Profiting off of their haters. That That is how you do it. That is the penultimate flex. Not only can they not hurt you, they are too mentally weak to be able to resist sending you chocolate. That's This is godly. I love this. <laughs> Snoop Dogg posted this meme on his Instagram. Snoop Cat, Kanye East, highest break. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me, but like somehow Snoop made himself look like a bootleg. Or is that just a weird like Snoop Dogg lookalike? I I need answers. What's going on? Are these are these all celebrity impersonators? Or are they just? Bad images of rappers! I need answers. But <laughs> Snoop Cat looks like one of my buddies and it's kind of breaking me. Stop messaging my girlfriend, bud. Our girlfriend. <laughs> what a terrible way to find out that your girlfriend's cheating on you by some guy going full USSR and being like, it's not your girlfriend or my girlfriend, it is our girlfriend! And just, like, he does it in a terrible Russian accent that's vaguely offensive as well. Oh god, that's that's rough, that's brutal. I had a, I had a friend who was trying to set me up with one of her girlfriends forever ago, and uh, her relationship was on the last legs, like, she wasn't even dating a dude, but he was still definitely, like, trying to make a play. And I didn't want to approach her, not because I was nervous, because, oh, well, a girl! But, like, I didn't want to be the one to go up and go, hey, buddy, I'm sorry, this is it. You had your shot. It didn't work. Anyway, I'm your replacement. How you doing? That just feels wrong! That just feels wrong! How are people okay with doing that? I don't like it. Waiting 188 days to post this. Waiting an entire year just to post the second half of this dead meme. Oh, my God, he did it. The absolute chunky wongy, the no good names to use, the master of memory, actually had the patience and the Google Calendar reminder to finish this meme. You love to see it. Filling my piscines with beans and hiring a repairman to fix it. This is just beans inside. <laughs> to unpack here. I'm sorry. I'm just laughing. This this one post has been like a minute of laughter. I I, I don't understand. Is that Gus? That Gus Johnson? Who did this video? This is godly. Apparently halfway through he goes, uh, where's your motherboard? Points at beans. This? Oh god. Oh, I'm watching this after. I'm- this is- this ain't Gus. This ain't Gus. Was out of milk. Used a coke. You what? Yeah! <laughs> That's awful! That is so terribly vile and it fills me with a feeling of not only hatred, but also sheer sadness. I feel- I felt my heart sink upon seeing that disgusting acidic syrup just sitting underneath those cornflakes. That is vile and horrible and this man is truly a mad lad if he can stomach that. Like gosh dilly dang. The entire Shrek script. Reading the entire Shrek script one sentence at a time. Tweets every hour. <laughs> no layers. <laughs> you see, this is why I can't, I can't get a programming degree. I can't become a computer scientist. 
This is all I'm going to do is make terrible shitty Twitter bots. And hell, I probably don't even need to go to school for that. There's tutorials, I bet. I, I hate this. I hate this because I love this and I'm going to go and follow this account. Location, swamp. <laughs> you look like the human version of Mark Zuckerberg. Don't be mean. <laughs> Oh my god, now I can't unsee it. Every time we- I, every time I watch one of this dude's videos, that's all I'm going to think is he looks like Mark Zuckerberg if he wasn't a reptilian piloting a meat costume. Oh my god, I hate it because I- Oh god, I can't keep saying I hate it because I love it. I need a new line. Someone in the comments, give me a new line. I don't want to have to think about it. What's your kink? Loving my wife. Watching this guy love his wife. Ooh! Ooh! Mmm! I think that's called voyeurism. And you know what? They own up to it. But man, is that edgy and uncomfortable. All it reminds me of is that one like Dark Souls 2 PvP montage. It was like the peeper of Drang Lake. And it was just like a topless dude in tights and a mask running around parrying people, taking screenshots of their crotch and then diving off an edge. That's what this reminds me of. That is the visceral image that this it, like reacts from me. This man's ad for a dog company on Reddit. Got over a thousand upvotes. My boss said I had to run an ad here on Reddit, but I already know how this is going to end, so I'll save you the work. Buy BarkBox for your dog, maybe? Silence, brand! Oh my god, dude. What, what breaks me is this was promoted on the Fellow Kids subreddit. <laughs> like, this is peak ironic marketing, and I appreciate the fact that they own up to it. But uh, I'm very, I'm, like, this is one of the few ads that doesn't feel like, how do you do, fellow kids? We are two of the internet's companies here to talk to you about our our brand, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> like, th it does feel like an employee who just kind of like, was like, okay, this is just how it's gonna go. But it wasn't. It was a committee. It was several people making a marketing strategy. Never fall for this. Companies aren't your friends. Man, I'm a marketing professional in my day job. I'm just like, I'm just self-sabotaging at this point. I just saw two blind people fighting. I yelled he got a knife and they both started running. <laughs> hey, that's an effective way to break up a fight. If they have no idea, what are they gonna do? They're gonna assume the other person has a knife and they're gonna flee. I, how does a, a blind fight work? Do they have to be that specific kind of blind where they still have shape recognition but they can't cognizantly see? Or is it something else? I need answers. Spent half a day making a baguette mod in Minecraft! <laughs> now all you need to do is make an insect glaive for Monster Hunter and the stereotype will be complete. <laughs> I have opinions on insect glaive users, much like I have opinions on greatsword users. I know this is a complete tangent. What else do you want me to say? It's a mod about baguettes. <laughs> I gotta fill the space with something. Buy your own phones. <laughs> I don't understand. Were they asking him to take a selfie of them? I don't- I don't understand. Is, is that why he covered their faces, or is he saying that he won't show their faces because they don't own phones? I need answers. Because this could just be, like, a flexor. I don't know. Woman arrested for playing with Legos after turning a hundred years old! <laughs> I'm glad- I'm glad to know our police dollars are going to preventing the elderly from playing with Legos! I mean, I guess it is a choking hazard, and, you know, it might get stuck in their pruny hands, so it's smart. It's smart to not let the elderly play with Legos. <laughs> this is so stupid. Jesus' last words before he died on the cross. Before we start the execution, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Use the link on the crucifix down below to get 5,000 free silver and a free epic sin. <laughs> Man, I can't wait until they start doing this with the Pokemon MOBA. I definitely won't get sick of that ever. That's right, I've dated this video. How you doing? It's your boy, Lumo Blaze, back in again, impersonating everyone's favorite person, John Calbus. We're all peer pressured into wearing clothes. Not me. <laughs> the people of Drang Lake strikes again. Man, I, 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 I'm weird. I'm quirky, I'm not like the other Reddit readers, no, no, I, I, I have this weird invested interest in casual fashion and streetwear. I don't really like traditional streetwear, but I think that, 
you know, our fashion today, at least on the male side of things, I don't know much about women's fashion. I just think it's very bland. I don't think we need to go to the extreme of everyone dressing like JoJo protagonists, for example, but I know a lot more color, a lot more interesting forms. I know just something, something to break up how things are now. I it would be greatly appreciated or some change to a corporate casual to be more expressive. You know what I mean? Because right now I feel like a lot of what we wear is just like graphic tees and hoodies and overshirts, maybe a tank, uh, maybe a, uh, you know, like a t-shirt over a sweatshirt. And it feels like our fashion has been very stagnant for the last 20 years. And I really want to see something new come out. I want I want to see like holes in clothes or like, I don't know, not ripped jeans. Ripped clothing is kind of a stupid fad, but I guess it is something different. So, you know, I, don't know, I just want to see new stuff. I want to see new things happen. Physicists to test if universe is a computer simulation. Cool, lol. Hey, cool, lol. They're actually testing to find out if we're living inside a computer simulation and your response to that is cool, lol. I mean, yeah, it's cool, lmao. <laughs> I forget what the actual results of this test were. I'm pretty sure it was we are not in a simulation. Um, I am not fully sure, but God, how, how weird would that be? How quickly would society degrade if we discovered that, yeah, yeah, we are in a simulation. What would happen? I feel like that would be the collapse of society. When we all find out that we're fake, is anything real? Is anything worth it? Like, I know, it's it's a bizarre philosophy puzzle that I'm not going to entertain because I am small brain and need to work on other things with that big brain power that I'm saving. How do you spell the sound an elephant makes? Asterisk, elephant noises, asterisk. <laughs> I mean... They're not wrong, but I feel like this was just a comic artist trying desperately to come up with the sound effect stinger. Oh god, I love- I, I don't know, I hate, but I love those snarky answers. Farewell, friends. Making a meme about me deleting my account. Just delete it without anyone knowing. Farewell, my fellow Redditor. <laughs> Man, as they followed through on their joke, and I think that's the most important thing. They followed through on the joke, which makes the joke even funnier. That being said, it was probably just a burner account. That also being said, if the Eggman theme from Sonic Adventure 2 isn't in the next Sonic movie, we will riot until society collapses. Man hands over donut to officer instead of driving license. I mean, look at that face. You can tell he's a little bit perturbed because it makes us take a little bit longer, but you can also tell he's like really tempted because who doesn't love a good strawberry sprinkle frosted donut? That's, that's like my favorite donut. Apart from vanilla frosted donuts and French crullers, but like, uh, hey man, i take a free donut. Stereotypes be damned. Free donut. Rickroll, but a different link so people can't memorize it. This is what it's all about. This. This is the true Mad Lad action. He has allowed other people to revive a dead meme by preventing people from recognizing Rickroll on site. What an absolute legend, a hero, and a scholar. And that's all the time we have here today on Calibus. If you liked this Mad Lad's reading, why not subscribe and hit like because all the support you guys have been showing us has been instrumental in keeping the channel running. As always, my name has been Lumo. If you want more Mad Lads, there is another one popping up in a couple of seconds. And as always, I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a lovely day.